Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about exporting the foundation objects. If you happen to be new, please consider subscribing down below. Exporting foundation objects is important in many cases. For data analysis, for example, exporting the foundation objects is done from the report center. The usual tool which we use to import and export data is import and export data. This tool does not support exporting the foundation objects. If we want to export the foundation objects, we should have reporting enabled in the system. I just want to show here how the export data does not show location. Location is my foundation objects. And let's see how we can export location from the report center. In order to have report center enabled, we should have proper permissions in the RBPs. If you want me to show how these permissions are set in the system, please do comments in the comment section below. I can create another video for that. But the scope of this video is to see how we can export location from the report center as location is my foundation object and import and export data does not support exporting the location details. So I have reporting enabled here so I can see the option of reporting under admin center. So I'll click on reporting. I will create a new report. So I will click on new. I have four options, report canvas, report table, tile and dashboard. I would select report table. When you select this, you will see that there is a dark blue highlighted. The section gets highlighted. Click on select. Since I have to download or export the foundation object details, I would select single domain and give the domain as foundation objects. Click on select. Here I have four menu or navigation sections. One is the general info, columns, configuration and filters. In the general info, I would give the name of the report. Say for example, I would give db underscore location data this is the name of my report i'll just give the same name for description as well report priority could be low medium and high i will keep the report priority as default which is medium already selected i'll go to column section where i would like to select what columns i want in my report so i'll click on select columns and here i have the option of exporting or selecting the data or details of all the foundation objects that are available from the report center so here i have business unit cost center department but for my focus here is on location so i'll click on location you will see that when you select different entities here the column details or the fields changed automatically so i've selected location and i have these fields which I can show in my report. So I will select external code, start date, end date, status, name, description and time zone or maybe standard hours as well. And these fields that we see in the selected columns are those fields which will appear in my report. I click on finish. Configuration. There are data type configuration and show value ID configuration. These are used in those cases. Say for example, I have a date field in my data and which I want to configure the format. Say for example, I want YYMM and DD as the date format and not DD, MM and YY. So those kind of changes you can do in the data type configuration. Data type configuration also helps 
and multiple other data types as well but specifically or in most of the general scenarios it is used along with the date data type where we want to add timestamps or remove timestamps and show value id configuration are those cases where you want to show the ids as well so let's go to filters here we can click on the refine criteria to filter our data on a certain basis since i want to download or export the location details i can select the end date for example and when i click on filter i have the value of selector or by my selection so these are those dates which are available in the data or we can also select by rules as well click on by rule and then we can here add a rule so here we have different options like equal to not equal to so since we have selected the end date so these filters would be applied on end date say for example end date is equal to some specified date which you want to give here say for example end date is equal to this so this should filter all the locations where my end date is equal to 31st of december 9999 let's select this we can also add multiple rules as well but for now let's just keep it simple i'll click on finish i have given a rule where my end date is equal to 31st of december 9999 and i click on finish and then save so you will see that once you click on save the changes are saved and here you can see changes saved and only after you save this the option of generating the report gets enabled we also have an option of previewing how our data looks like here i can say that this is my external code start date end date and if you see i have given the filter as end date is equal to 31st of december 9999 so all the data that i have exported here has my end date equals to that date i also see that i get here as a and i so these are the status of that particular record so this would mean that when i will export or generate the report i will have inactive records as well so if i want to remove these inactive records i can add another filter as well let's do that so i'll go to filter refine criteria go to location click on status by rule add another rule so i have selected status before and status is equal to a which is active so if you see here it's a drop down and it has two options a and i but i want to filter on only active locations so i would select a click on finish again finish and then save preview preview should give only the active records if you see there was one inactive record that was coming before is now not available because we have filtered it out i will close it save it again and i will try to generate it clicking on generate gives us options to download the data in four formats the csv excel pdf and ppt the most used format for the data is csv i'll click on csv and i can see here that it gets downloaded so i have this report the data is available here as well so it says showing one of four pages this would mean that this has four pages here i can go to the next page from here from the blue arrow and if you see the page changes showing page two of four and then i'll just close it and try to open what was just downloaded so this is the data the location details that has been downloaded so if you see there is no data for the standard hours because standard hours might not be maintained for the location objects so this is what i wanted to show today how we can export the foundation objects say locations from the report center 
thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful for you maybe you can try to check my other videos and you can also comment in the comment section if you're looking for any specific topics related to employee central area see you soon in my next video bye bye